able to annoy someone based on their based on them living in this world without having to protect the environment itself. So you see the uh, cowardice, the lies, and the pain, the, the unnerving that they have, okay, um, to push that on to people, young people. They feel it as if they're entitled because you went to the military to train to kill someone. You're not entitled to anything, nothing at all if you train to kill, but the death comes back to you in the way, see, the trade has death in many ways, slow death, uh, the death, uh, not knowing who you are, and only knowing who you are in the material world, you see, you're not entitled to have a, a nice car, you're not entitled to have a nice home, who told you that, you haven't done anything, you're polluting the earth all the time, every day, all day, what are you entitled to? The death that you caught that's coming to you. And it's a flood of evidence. Alright? And all of that. So, uh, to try, again, these old people, man, that's so irresponsible. I'm talking about, when I say from the top, you're not a top of anything. You're really, uh, as low as you know you are. And now it's actually being shown because... They are pushing people who have the worst mental capabilities to follow behind you now. Okay? And that's what I mean by being in the riots and other highly uh, evolved things that the universe gives us. And the people who are sending those sick people, those mentally incapable of functioning people, that's who they are. Wherever you are in the world, Whoever you are in this world, however much money you have, however much material you have, when you are starting wars with people like that, then that shows lots of things about them. And uh, uh, so there are people who know these things about you, who, can, who are making changes through you from the omnipotent source because of your fears, you see. We're not here to put fear in anyone's heart. Uh, we're here to challenge ourselves and to make this rites of passage uh, more powerful in the exchange of the elements. I told you all, I was the elements, air, earth, fire, gas, and water, many, many times. But people think that because they, they, are, they, they don't know what is going on in the world, but they can use that against the creator's power. I mean, people really are still trying to ride around and think they can do computer interruptions. I mean, how stupid are you? Every day, how ignorant are you? I mean, I'm really pushing, I'm emanating, pushing this torch you, saying these things to you because the military said it to you and you think, oh, I made it through that. They talked about it. I'm a better person. No. Where are you better? After that basic, call it basic training. The spinning yard can call you up something you're not and then come here and say, oh, I'm more powerful than this person because I'm going to take this receipt from the military training and go around this live person but the person, the people that trained you that sent you out which you know if, you, you, if I was to tell you something about you who the fuck do you think you're telling how to live their life? But these people that gave you that money to go train to kill someone, you'll never know. You don't say that to them. See, I know that, so I know who you are. You can't, maybe you can hide from someone else. But this is, this is what I do. This is how I live. This is what I'm here for. I know you're not that person at all, not the least bit. You're not that person. You are what you're supposed to be. Okay? In the mud, you're a mucus person. Okay, remember, remember I said mucus uh, can't even survive out on the area, in the air, and you spit it on the ground, it goes away. But when it enters your body, it starts to formulate. You see, and I spit out mucus. I recognize mucus is in my body, in my brain, all in my face. See, the mucus is crap coming out of me. Yeah, so that's what people are these days who ride around in those cars, 
Let's get some pause. I care nothing about the children. And you all have time to ride around all day, sit around all day, and to do that. So that's what you are. You, 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 you're not fooling anybody. And most people know you're full of shit, just don't want to say it. They just accept the bullshit because they think that their cars are more expensive than yours. You're better than them. But these times, like I tell people all the time, there has to be a time where the creator is going to bring someone in and dispose of your lives. And these are these times. What a beautiful story. What a beautiful truth in this that we have to share. And I love sharing this. Because children need our help. And these older people, my age and older, driving around these trucks, cars. Stupid decisions, first of all, to take yourself into something like that. Can't afford it because you're going to try to come with that same uh, death sentence that they taught you in the military to pay for that. You, where has it that you've shown growth? Okay, you say you, you can find a job, so you went to the military. They gave you money, trained you how to kill somebody to get money. Then you come back to a peaceful society, you try to kill someone's spirit, what you call say spirit, with that same thing. You still haven't learned anything from that. You haven't gone from your childhood or from your boyhood when you say there wasn't jobs. You, you're still there right now as a man, 40 years later. Only thing you do is get in, in one uh, encapsulated substance into another. Okay? Those, I don't care how many houses you buy. It didn't... People in the Veterans Administration, you all should know better. Remember the VA homes came, homes came available all of a sudden? For people who've been in the military, lost, look at all those houses that you all lost. So what have you really learned? You see? And I was in it, I was in it when it first started. A young lady who worked in that department put me on the game, in the game. She was married, so that's, it messed me up and almost got me caught up in her husband bullshit after I exposed that shit. So, uh, uh, yeah, you say you're smart in the military, but look how many you lost homes. Look at how many you military vets lost homes. If you went there and went all over the world, learned about these all different cultures, then why didn't you help your fellow soldier regain his home? Now they're in the streets. Oh, Dick Gregory says more than 22, that's like 34 or something. Well, how many it is? Too many, you see? Add that on. You see? And then the people... Uh, what was that happened? Annie Mae or yeah, Annie Mae. Those homes where people didn't have money to afford them. all those homes because of that pretentious attitude. Look at that. You see, you see, so people that are riding around being annoyed. Uh, you should check yourself. Children need help. You're spending time floating around, riding around. I'm on the bus. People are wait eight hours at my job till I get off. Yeah, you have time to do that, but won't help a child out of the situation. And that's a such a sick individual. You are less, you are a mucus being. So if when you come around me and, and you've heard me say you're a mucus being, you can get upset as all as you want. All as you want, because I'm way past upset on that shit. Like, this one lady, uh, uh, she does soul food cooking. She came around me a couple of weeks ago, a Saturday, and she had the nerve to come on to Facebook. I'm so glad so Facebook exposed you all secretly. They really do. So all the people who follow me around, most of them, people you may know, it shows up on the screen. And she's so food cooking. She walked, followed me all through the park. This is after I posted the story about Sim and the Vids restaurant. How I helped him six months prior. And he ended up going. So she's a soul food cook and delivers food. Followed me from the park one Saturday. In the river mark in the river valley. She had a white dress. I don't know if it was a woman actually now I'm, I'm into that. White dress and her hair was with a great streak and it was hooked up. Nice dress and I was trying to say something to her. Totally ignored her but she followed me all. So I was walking back to that. She followed me in the old police car gear with tinted windows. Acting like a man crossing down following me. I mean follow me to annoy me. And I, I told you I could see through the dark in the dark. Well at least through the tinted windows. I told you, I saw you the whole time, acting like a man, so you might have, a, you probably, um, uh, I don't know what you was, but yeah, you, Denise, yeah, followed me all, maybe about four or five miles, if I walked that far, <laughs> probably wasn't that long, but yeah, 
Yeah, uh, incredibly. I want to say that, yeah, in that beige car with the tinted windows, you did that after following me in the real market. Uh, wanted me to see you because you walked closely by looking at me all, I mean, with the dress on. I tried to compliment you, say something, but you ignored me totally. And that's what these crazy people do. They want to help, but how do you think you go? You can't get any help because you pass by me because I'm emanating. You think that's going to happen for you? See, when you, you pass by a flower, you smell it, you feel good, yes? So, but the flower has a defense mechanism as well. The beauty has a defense mechanism as well. A flower is not defenseless at all. You can, yeah, you can walk up and pick it and do whatever you want to, but on a human scale, it's like a sperm whale, baby. I've changed. All right? From planet to a mountain to a rock to sand. Okay? So that person, and a lot of other people I'm going to uh, express my disgust with. And yet, I'm discussing the issue with you all to show you all that hidden agenda is just not there. It's not there. And... And again, these people with Mercedes Benzes riding, especially women, and the men too, but the women who ride around them. I can go seven, eight blocks. No, let me say about 15 minute walk, 20 minutes walk. It's going to be 10 different women in Mercedes Benz that are going to show up. So I'll just drive like, you know, like be zombied up, drive like, I ain't, I ain't doing nothing to him, I ain't doing nothing to him. You know, it's crazy. All the time, you all do that. Why are you riding around in a car like that? Oh, you want to be like white folks? That's right. So many people in their parents told them, I want to live like white folks. And you are living like white folks now. You're murderous people. Your children are being murdered, raped, pillaged, all in their own communities. So you move out of the neighborhood, blaming the children even more. How irresponsible you must be because you want to live like the white folks. When I live like the God, take the risk that I'm taking. The God that I am. The risk that I'm taking. Do that, you can come up. You can emanate, you can live. I mean, you don't think you're going to come around, you're going to feed children candy, abuse them, and then think, come around me, you're going, oh, God's going to bypass my pain and all that. No, your pain is showing. Your pain is emanating. You smell, you stink. You stink like crazy driving by me in those cars with those things in your heart. You smell like, you're horrible smelling. Yes, I can smell that shit coming at you when you drive by me trying to pretend that something you're not. You see? All of that. All the terrible things that you've done to children and other people. I can see all of that. There's one Negro came over here that lives over here, and I know him. Y'all know him. I'm not gonna call his name. He sells watermelons. Yeah. Over out here. I come out, I wouldn't know who he was. I just saw him. Ask about the price of watermelons. Oh, we threw selling watermelons tonight. We ain't selling no watermelons about 8 o'clock. You gonna tell me you threw selling watermelons? That's all I asked. Real, I've been knowing him 20 years, but you gonna tell me you threw selling watermelons? Okay. But the next day, I'm at outside the bus stop. You driving by. At the same time, I'm out at the bus stop. You see? You ain't through doing that, though, are you? You see? That bullshit. This, these are people that I deal with every day, all day. People that you know, backstabbing, son of a... Yeah, people enjoy stabbing each other in the back. And uh, they don't know it's... Why y'all think I'm not going to come back and do this later on? <laughs> when I do it all the time. It's, 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 it's stupidly refreshing. <laughs>